Hey wizards, it is Kieran Trollcaller. I'm back for another episode of the Myth Walkthrough. And like we usually do every four or so episodes, let's go ahead and catch everybody up to exactly where we are. So first off, let's jump in. We are sitting at level 83, plenty of health, plenty of mana. Um, training points 15, eh, gold could be better. Arena tickets, I haven't really haven't fought anything for a while, so there it is. Damage 78 still, 13, so no change in gear. Although we're getting to the point where we need to start looking at other gear and seeing if there might be some better options for us. So we'll we'll probably be looking at that over this week. So we'll we'll keep you up with any changes as they do. Resistance is still the same, accuracy is still the same. Um, critical still 165, block ring at 39, sun resistance at plus 6, healing 5%, and we still have power pips at 82%. The quest we are on is we are called, we, is we are on a peace of mind. So what we're doing is we are going through and we're collecting the four pieces of the portal so we can sneak our way into the castle of Avalon so we can stop the pen dragon because we still have one more shrine that we need to visit so we can be worthy of the sword so we can beat the pen dragon okay guys that's where we are at now let's let's go ahead and talk to the lady of the lake Nimue and see what's up Lox brigands are nasty creatures they tear things up and rip them down and you can never get the smell of brine out <laughs> The boggy cave should be empty. Go in and grab the teleporter arch piece. Okay. So, let's go have another fight. So, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Hmm. You know, there I see. I see a... We need to go ahead and fill up our health there and everything. Oh, there's a pearl over there, too. Let's, let's go ahead and grab it. Why not? Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's go ahead and grab that one right there. Mm -hmm. Let's grab the other one too while we're at it. I can see it right over here. Okay, so guys, we got to go to the buggy cave now. So each one of these bosses has a different piece of the portal. You know, we've been rebuilding all these portals. Apparently, Avalon's fell in a little bit of dis disrepair after King Artorius was defeated by the Pen Dragon, but that's okay because we're here to put things right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. While we're waiting here, guys, I just want to remind you. If you want to support the channel and help us out, help me out quite a bit, all you have to do is go ahead and check out my new Patreon site at Kimmy Say Gaming over at Patreon. And if you join the Patreon, links are in the description, guys. You will actually be helping out our content, supporting us. There we go, one bog it witch. It not to be empty after all. Something is lurking in the dark water. A wizard down here in the depths? Oh, I'll dice you up and fry you in manatee butter! Wow, she's pleasant. I, I, I like her. Let's make sure that we have... Good, we do got a couple of prisms in there. Okay, let's jump into the bog, into the bog witch. Well, anyway, so that's one way. Another way you can really help us out is come check us out on stream. We stream about four times a week, guys, and we're having a great time doing it. You know, um, all you have to do is go to Kimmy Say Gaming over there on Twitch.tv. We stream on Tuesday nights. We stream on Wednesday nights, Friday nights, and Sundays. Sunday afternoons and evenings if everything goes well throughout the week. And um, we have a great time. We talk about lots of things. We play some Wizard 101, sometimes some Minecraft, sometimes some Pyro 101. You guys are absolutely invited to all those streams. So don't forget, catch us, we catch us weekly on Twitch.tv. Also, I wanted to remind you guys, if you just want to help us out at the, at the very basic, you can hit subscribe here. If you have not subscribed to this channel here on YouTube, guys, that would help us a bunch. By subscribing, what that does is that helps YouTube see the value of this channel as it's going up. It helps the algorithm, so they'll, what they'll do is they'll actually be able to suggest these videos more often to other viewers who are watching similar things who like it. And if you hit that like button, that helps out a bunch, too. So subscribe and like. So if you're liking the videos, hit that like button if you are why if you're coming to the channel regularly please hit that subscribe button really really does help us out quite a bit so thank you very much guys thank you for your attention i do appreciate that okay guys so let's take down this bog which you know what we need is we need a prism yeah we need a prism to pop up i had two in the deck so i know they're there hmm that icy although it's starting to get a little bit annoying that's okay because we can go ahead and take care of it and knock it out now, by the way, guys, I have started my new season on Kimmy Say Craft, so you'll be seeing a new video from me this week for my Minecraft series. And it's getting kind of tough. I've had, like, the worst start ever. You know, I keep on dying because mining is a lot tougher than it used to be, guys. Oh, yeah. It's a lot tougher getting things like, you know, 
diamonds. <laughs> it's a lot tougher getting your gear. It used to be you could do some branch mining and pretty much just, just with a little bit of patience and time, you'll get everything you need. But now, boy, it's it's tough. I mean, to find those diamonds, you've got to do a whole bunch of caving. And I was I was never going to get a caving. Caving's dangerous. Yeah, lots of mobs in caving. And I I made a big mistake this last time, and I died drowning in a place I don't know. Yeah, so so life's been kind of tough there on the server. But you know, I'm sure that I will find some time to go ahead and get back get back to where I'm at. So, anyways. Yep, yeah, so go ahead and check out those videos when I post them. This is good stuff. Jeez, all the stunning. Uh, I think they're going to kill me because of the stunning. I might not survive this fight because they stun me a couple times and at least once. Uh, and I'm in trouble. Well... Maybe get rid of the Bog Witch first? I don't know. I don't know if this will get rid of the Bog Witch. Maybe. Come on, pigs. We need you to come through for us here, guys. And... Oh, not quite. That's, that's bad news for me. Okay, so... Ooh. We need to do what we can. Okay, let's do this. Ah, okay, Bog Witch, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, she's gonna Orthrus me. That's um, terrible. Wow, what a, what a terrible way to start this episode out, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get beaten by the Bog Witch. Oh my goodness, we're still alive. How crazy is that? Um, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not sure. Because the eel can still kill me even after I take down the bog witch. So I'm not sure if, sure if Orthrus is going to finish them both off. Probably finish the bog witch off, but I don't think Orthrus is going to finish the eel off. So We're going to take every bit we can get. Oh my goodness, did you see that, guys? Talk about pulling that out of the hat. Oh. Scorching and burning on you! Okay, that's fine, that's fine. You go ahead and do your thing. We do our thing, okay. There we go, we got the teleporter arch, and then we get to go ahead and tell her that um, there's a bog witch in there waiting for us. So, yeah, it wasn't quite, you know, clear. Okay, so. Back to the lady, man. That was that was uh, that was a nail biter right there. Oh yeah, nail biter. Oh, I see. There we go. Got the health. Got the. Let's see. I think we have to go up this way. No, not yet. That's probably gonna be the next fight. Okay. Let's go talk to Nimue, or the Lady of the Lake, and let's let her know all the deeds that have been done so she know there's a wisp right behind us just appear fantastic okay guys lady of the lake here you go that bog witch tried to steal my magic some years ago i forgot i had locked her away down here oh you forgot okay the last teleporter arch piece will be the most challenging to gather the diavel cave is home to tarn the drowned giant you'll have to break his spirit oh uh, he sounds like a pleasant guy. Tarn the Drowned Giant. You gotta give him credit. They really name name the villains quite well down here in Avalon. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, hopefully that's one wisp. I really need at least... Whoa. Did you see how close she was to that? Yeesh. That could have been a pool. Scary stuff going on here in Wizard 101 tonight. Scary stuff. And I do not think that is enough for me to win. I need one more wisp. Do I see another wisp? I, perfect timing, guys. Perfect timing. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see what type of school 
this giant, this drowned giant is in. I think this is the last piece, though. So here's the good news. I think this might be the last piece so that we can finish building up that arch because that's what we got to do is we got to get that arch built up and let's see oh sent some minnow swimming down here where it does not belong flee little fish before i swallow you up and grind your bones to silt oh boy another another myth boss yeah Okay, well, we know my deck is good, so let's let's go ahead and get this going. Alrighty, so what should we do first? Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and kick our frog off to the side. And do I have a shield for this? No, I don't. Okay, we'll pass. Gosh, I only have, like, fire and ice shields in there. Hmm. Well... At least I didn't put up a um, charm. I would have lost it right away. That was fortunate. Fortunate, fortunate stuff. Okay. But here's some real fortunate stuff. A faint one tarn the drowned giant. And we'll be able to lock this brick away here pretty quick. Okay. We need a prism, guys. Yeah. Something like that. I like how he I like how he hits his head against the ground. It's a it's a stylish thing. Okay. Okay, well, you know, we're not getting much in regards of blades, so let's go ahead and get these up. And we really, really need to get that um, prism too. You know, if I go ahead and get the prism up, I think we're going to just go ahead and orther something because we need to get rid of that Spriggan because if she's going to hit us with things like, you know, Triton, and we need to get rid of her. Yeah, definitely, because Triton hurts. Not good. Wow, coming out the frog. Well, it could be worse. He could have, like, tried to get rid of my stuff, my blades. Okay, so, where are we? Hmm. Okay, so, let's be honest. Not going to use Berserk. Let's throw the Bewilder up. There we go. Let's put that on him. Oh. Well, I just wasted that. It's okay. We need a strike. Oh, you know, I really need to have another blade up before we strike. Yeah. Maybe with two blades and a crit, we can finish him off. Yeah, see, I put that shield, I put that shield up too early. Ah, my bad. But it'll work against Spriggan. She'll die fine. It's him I, him I think we're going to be stuck with. And he has a lot of pips there. This could be a pretty devastating hit. Oh, it's a frog. Oh, well, let's see. Yep, and there we go again. Okay, let's... Let's hit him with Orthers. We can always follow up with Ninja Pegs if Orthers doesn't do enough. We gotta get rid of the Spriggan before she hits us again. And do we get a kill? Not quite. Super close though. Ooh, Orthrus? My friend. Wow, glad I blocked the critical. That could be that could have been terrible. Oh yeah. That could have been pretty terrible. Yeah, if we don't do this, we're not gonna do enough damage. They have such high crazy resistance against against the school, so. Okay, that should finish this guy off.
And do we got the win? I bet you we do. There we go, guys. Down. May the shadows never let you sleep. And may your waking hours be filled with night terrors. Wow, he's unpleasant. Let's go ahead and grab this last teleporter arch piece. Fantastic, guys. We now, I think we have all four pieces. Let's go talk to the Lady of the Lake and see what she has to say about all that. Pretty exciting stuff. Pretty exciting stuff here. Okay. Well, that's funny. Kelp right in the way of your of the way out. Nice, nice. And then we gotta go back down. Come on. Okay, yeah. Now sometimes I wish the um environment was easy to easier to get around on, but hey, uh, you know what? You get you yeah, sometimes you get you get everything, sometimes you don't, okay? Okay, so here we go, anyway. Beautifully fought, wizard. Ah, yes. Go and assemble the teleporter arch. The portal will take you through to the catacombs beneath Avalon. Quickly now, I will meet you inside. I accept that. Okay, let's let's um do the teleporter arch. Awesome. Let's take a picture of that. That's the portal to the catacombs. Let's go in. And there is she This is. is not how I would have welcomed you to Avalon in better times, but we do as we must. These vile, deep, dark goblins have sprouted like poisonous mushrooms. The catacombs are locked, and I'm sure they have the key. Strike down the deep, dark goblins for the catacombs key. Well, that is our mission, and we're definitely going to do that. I just need to get a few wisps first before we, like, jump into action here. Yeah, that last fight did a, did, a, did a number. But here we go. Now we can get back to Caliburn. So now we have the portal back to Caliburn. And that's another reason why we need to get in here so we can, like, reactivate that Caliburn portal as well. I love the catacombs and the, and the undercastle down here. Pretty cool spaces, I think. You know? Okay. Yeah, I won't leave them. And pass. Come on, I need another goblin. Come on, guys. Join the party over here. There we go, there we go. Awesome. We can't, like, do Froggy until next round anyways. And Bewilder probably wouldn't work really good for this round, just because, you know, I wouldn't be able to get both of them. But now we do... Oh, we could just do Orthrus. Since we had to wait so long to get them in the party. Oh! Of course he's gonna stun me. Why those tricksy tricksters? Terrible. Terrible stuff going on there. Okay. Let's try it again. One Orthrus. Wow, he got the crazy bolt hitting everything. Yeah, we definitely need to get rid of these guys right here. Come on, Orthrus. And there we go. We got the win there. Fantastic, guys. So we are now in the catacombs. We are in the final part of Avalon. And there's a lot of quests we got to do down here before we're finished. So I'm not sure how far we can get, but we're gonna we're gonna push it. Let's talk to the lady. You fight as if you were gifted with the wings of Gamma, Knight of the Weird. Use the catacombs key to enter the tomb of Artorius, greatest of kings. You will find the last knightly shrine within. Meditate at the shrine to justice for all, based on a system of might for right rather than the old system of might makes right. Then pay your respects to the tomb of Artorius and return to me. Boy, that's a mouthful for the shrine. Okay, let's... Okay. So apparently somebody beat up the shrine. What evil is this? The shrine to justice for all, based on a system of might for right, rather than the old system of might makes right, 
was raised. Not good. Oh no, what happened? Worse yet, the king's tomb is empty. Where could his remains be? Wow, this is quite the mess, guys. Quite the mess. Not so good, not so good. Sometimes there's stuff lying around, so it's always good to check and see if we need to pick something else up. But how are we going to meditate at the shrine if it's all busted up like that? Let's go talk to the lady. This is devastating. Without proper reflection at the Shrine to Justice, you cannot complete your nightly preparations. I know. Only one who has meditated at all the nightly shrines may hope to wield the Sword of Kings. And this defilement of the King's Tomb is even more troubling. Wait, I have an idea. There is a way, but it lies through caverns older than time, under the dreams of the world and across the other side. I cannot accompany you beyond the mists of the other side, but if you search the dungeon cells, you will find a proper guide. Okay, so we have to find some guide who's going to take us into the mists of time. Okay, guys, this is about to get interesting. Oh, yes, yeah, so let's go down to the dungeons. We've been through dungeons before. We know what happens down here. All sorts of people who shouldn't be locked up. Yep, because that's, you know, how tyrants live. But yep, so let's go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Wow, we have to go all the way down. Check it out. Hello? Is there someone out there? Who? who's that? Ah, a valiant knight. Is there any chance you could help me out? Maybe. I hate to trouble you over something so petty, but if you could find the Hobgoblin Blood Captain and get a key to these locks... I'd do it myself, you see, but I'm feeling a bit lightheaded. No food or water for some time, plus these... You'll find the Hobgoblin Blood Captain over there, I'd imagine. The cell key should be on him. Well, let's go ahead and take care of the Hobgoblin Captain. Whoa, glad I did not get pulled there. Okay, guys. So let's see if we can get this um, knight on our side. Maybe he can guide us to where we want to go, right? All we have to do is ta knock out a hobgoblin captain. Yep, tick tock, tick tock. There we go. One, and we are in. Oh no, we... a wizard? Nah, just kidding. Let me bash you about then. Oh, let's bash him about. Ooh, I see a tapestry up there. We want to make sure we pick that up before we leave the room. Okay, Hobgoblin Captain and Night Goblin. So, we're not going to need that, we're not going to need that. Not going to need that or that, but a blade would be a good thing to have. Oh! My goodness, it's been a long day. Hopefully everybody's done well this past week. I hope you have a great week as well. Now, what we're going to keep focusing on, guys, is finishing Avalon now. It's probably going to take us the rest of the week to knock Avalon out, but I think that'll be worth it. So, the next three episodes will probably be all still Avalon-based. I forget which, which fights are going to be really tough. I know there's a fight where we have to go back in time. That tends to be a pretty tough fight from what I remember because of some because of some of the fights are going to be against four opponents and that just that just makes them challenging. Now um, there might be some ways where we might try to solo it. I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. But um, we might have to do a team up to get through some of those some of those challenging dungeons. Like I said, you know. Um, before, you know, we'll always, whenever we can, we want to try to solo as many of the bosses and as many of the fights as possible, you know, for the myth walkthrough, but I'll be honest with you, some of them are just not the design, not designed to solo. I mean, you, you're going to have to have help in them. And so that's something to always be aware of when you're primarily soloing with your wizard. Okay. Nice thing about fire and um, death is they don't stun you very much. Yeah. Not like that storm guys. Those storm guys. I oh, don't need those. I really, you know, what I really need is I need a faint. Especially before he hits me really hard. 
I might have to make a call and just do Orthrus without the Faint, just so we can get rid of the Night Golem before, we, before it becomes a big problem. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the elephant will hurt a little bit. Yeah. This will be unpleasant. Let's see. Ooh. Well, guys, finally, there's that thing we're looking for. Honestly, this should be a pretty easy defeat now that we got the things in all the blades. Oh, Death Ninja Pigs. And a weakness. Oh, those turkeys. Okay, I think we got these. With four boy four blades to trap an Orthrus, I think I think the I think he's done. Oh yeah. There we go. Boy! Me aching face. Who let him in here, anyways? Haha. <laughs> Before we head out, let's go up here and grab this tapestry. That's one of the tapestries we want to get. I forget how many of them are out there. We'll have to check some point. Okay, guys, let's go talk to Sir Patrick really quick. Oh, look, the Lady of the Lake is there. Patrick. You got the Selkie. Well done. He didn't give you any trouble, did he? Ah, oh, by Gamma's wings. The spiral blessed lady. I am yours to command. Very good. But guys, unfortunately, because, because of where we're at, guys, that's all the time we really have today. Okay, so next episode, we're going to talk to the Lady of the Lake, and we're going to find a way to... Um, to meditate at that shrine, guys, and I think Patrick's going to be able to help us, but even if this lady cannot follow us. But this is Kieran Trocaller, played by Kimmy Say. Don't forget, guys, hit that subscribe, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, and I will be back again with the Myth Walkthrough. Bye-bye.